Thanks, Mr. Dilly. So today I'm going to teach you how to draw Beryl, one of the space cadets. So what you need is a piece of paper and a pen or a pencil, and that's it. So let's go. Okay, so we're going to draw Beryl. So Beryl is the tallest of the space cadets and she's bright pink and spotty. And we're going to draw her now. So we've got our piece of paper and our pen or our pencil. So let's start. So to draw Beryl, you need to be able to draw lots and lots of circles, but we'll do them step by step. So let's start. So near the top of the page, I want you to draw almost a whole circle, but not quite. We're going to leave a little gap there just in the middle and then we're going to leave a bit of a gap and then underneath we're going to draw another circle but I'll tell you what that is in a minute. So back up here we're going to draw her, it's sort of like her neck really, it's very skinny and it's just two lines and then we're going to draw her shoulders so we'll draw a curved shape that side and that side and then we're going to leave a gap and we're going to draw another almost circle there, that's for her body. Now this is her belt buckle, so inside we're going to draw a little bit of a line there like that and one underneath here and then we're going to draw two wiggly shapes in the middle, these are the bits that hold her belt together, like so. And then we're going to take a break from drawing circular things, we're going to draw two lines across there for her belt and one there one there and then Beryl wears a sash so we're going to draw her sash as well which is two diagonal lines like so. So that's her body done. So let's go back up here we're going to draw another circle and that's for her eyeball. So we're going to draw one like that and then we're going to draw the pupil in the middle so that's a big black dot there. Now she needs to have some eyelashes. Beryl has three eyelashes that go off the side of her um, face like that and we're going to draw a little eyebrow up there. She's so surprised her eyebrow has jumped up off the top of her head. So let's draw her hands and her arms. So over this side we're going to draw the rest of her arm and then Beryl has six fingers. So we're going to do six wiggly shapes. One, two, three, four, five, six and then a thumb. And join that up to her body. And we'll do the same on this side. So we go down, but we draw the thumb first this, this time. And then we do her fingers. One, two, three, four, five, six. And join up her arm there. Now, in the book, she has um, what's called a wrist bleeper. And it means it's a way that she can uh, communicate with her friends. So we draw two lines like that and draw another circle in the minute, middle. And then we draw almost like a triangle shape. It's got a bit of a curve to it. We draw a line there and one on the other side. So two lines and a circle and a funny sort of triangle shape with a line in it. Now we get to draw her legs and she's got very skinny little legs actually. So we're going to do two legs, two lines there for one leg and two for that. And then halfway up, I want you to draw a little horizontal line because that's for her socks. She likes to wear them pulled right up. So we're going to draw her shoes now, and they're quite clumpy shoes. And we're going to start by doing a line and a cross. And then we do a curved line like that to bring them up there. So we'll do that on the other side. So we'll go down and across and round like that. And then we draw a little upside down U shape there for the heel and a line across to show which part of the shoe is her is the sole and then we're going to do her shoelaces done up so the easiest way to do that is to do two love hearts on top like that and two little lines for the laces so then we go right the way back up here and we're going to draw her mouth so she looks a bit surprised on the cover but we're going to draw her um, looking very smiley so we're going to draw a baked bean shape like that. That's her lips, and then we're going to we're going to draw this exactly the same shape inside, but with a little gap so that we can draw her lips like so. And then we draw her three big teeth, and they're sort of rounded. So one, two, three, like that. And then very quickly, but very carefully, we're going to colour in the inside of her mouth so that we can see those nice white shiny teeth super clearly like so. 
and we're almost done, just a few things to do left. So we've got to draw her badges, so she likes to wear badges, so we're going to draw one circular one, one which is a sort of uh, V-shape with a line across it, and then one which is a rainbow shape, because she wears a rainbow badge. But you can draw as many or as few um, badges as you like. And then the last thing we need to do is a little scribble under her feet to show that she's standing on the ground. And then the absolute last thing we have to do is what all artists do when they've created a masterpiece like this, they sign their names to it. So I'm going to put my name here. And uh, you put yours there. Now, that's barrel finished, but she obviously needs to be cut coloured in. So with your colouring in felt tips and uh, pencil crayons, you can draw, you can colour in with spots. But because I don't have them, just to remind you, I'm going to draw lots of circles all over her body. But you do these when you're colouring in her in. So she's pink with red spots. So all of these circles uh, need to be red. But you can do as many or as few as you like. And once you've done all of those and she's all coloured in and looking beautiful, then you are completely finished and you can hang this up on your wall. Okay, back to you, Mr Dilly.